In this video, we're going to take a look at a little bit of the good, the bad, and the ugly of living in a van or living in uh, an RV of some sort. Uh, I've got some great footage to show you, so let's get at it. Today, uh, we're at Route del Sol. My name is Keegan. Uh, I'm a journalist I'm from a place called Wollongong, which is on the east coast of Australia. And this is our van. And this is Jolie. I'm Joel. I'm the mad scientist behind this. Uh, me and a team from Solar Roller in Oregon built this crazy thing behind us here, and uh, we're driving it from Alaska to Argentina. And we want you to come and have a look at it. <laughs> we're, because we're both using the same account right so we're both reading messages and being like yeah, have you spoken to this person did you reply to this one it's 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 not the most organized i'd say um so and then we follow a bunch on youtube so potentially all right some of the good things about living in a van would be like this one here this is totally an electric vehicle the engine is electric i studied climate change at university and i really just felt like I needed to do something. I jump on planes and I fly around the planet all the time and I felt kind of like a hypocrite when I speak to people about that and the impact that they have on the world. And so I just thought, what what can I do? How can I travel and be more sustainable when I do so? And um, this was the idea that I came up with all of those lonely nights uh, at the airport <laughs> when I was questioning my reality. <laughs> so yeah, this is the idea that I came up with. Um, the reason for the voyage, I mean, I've really always wanted to explore the Americas. I've driven across Canada in a van before and that was an epic journey. And I really wanted to go from north to south. So um, I watched a few YouTubers do it. There's like, uh, what's that guy's name? Astor Alaska, he did it. And I think most people who live in a van know about that YouTube series. And that sort of like really inspired me to want to get into it and, and do it. And he had so many struggles and it just seemed like a real epic journey. And, I really wanted to uh, embrace the way that he did it and just invite sort of people along and just be open to have people in my van with me, just like Deegan's here. And uh, yeah, the South America seems like a really cool place to go, so I wanted to do that. So it's just like a real epic adventure. It's a long distance, it's the best way to prove the, the ability for us to achieve something like this in a van like this. So yeah, that's about it really. <laughs> With Rue del Sol, we're trying to build a community through our own YouTube channel and our Facebook and Instagram so that we can, you know, connect as many like-minded individuals along this entire route and show the world, like, how people are transitioning to renewable energy, how many people out there are actually, like, really, really stoked on solar power and on and hydropower and all those um, fantastic forms of, um, yeah, sustainable energy. And we really want to be able to connect those people and show people down south as well that are also doing those things and share those stories with the rest of the world and say, hey, like, whether you like it or not, this is happening and we are changing and this is a really fun way to, to get around this, uh, this change. Yeah, yeah. And we're doing our best, doing our <laughs> basically. Best. Yeah. That's what we're trying to do, be the best people we can be. Yeah. 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 Everything in here is running on electricity. Uh, they're pulling out the panels here now just to show you the whole roof is covered with panels and then they slide these out on both sides and believe it or not they have over 6,000 watts of solar and uh, they deploy these and they can actually tip them and then on the back doors there's some too. Uh, their unit Here's their charge controllers and their inverters. Like, look at this. They have to build a room for this to fit. <laughs> 6,000 watts of solar power, and they're talking kilowatts of energy that they either bring in a day or what have you and, and use. Uh, everything in the van runs on electricity, I guess, except for you know, a couple odd things, uh, the stove maybe, I'm not quite too sure. I'm thinking the stove, uh, the fridge is running on electricity, uh, the van itself runs on electricity. Uh, there is no gas engine, it's all electric. And uh, the solar panels drive the whole thing. 
So this is just an amazing vehicle. Part of the good when you can uh, live off the sun. And here we are, Brian and myself. Brian is on the right, I'm on the left. And some good facts about this is uh, it's cheap to live in. Uh, I have, and so does he, have a shower, a toilet, everything, all the amenities, a stove, a fridge, everything you need in the van. Bad would be, I guess, having to look for a place to go to the toilet all the time. I have one in my van. I've never even used it. Uh, water is another one. Other than that, living here in Vancouver, there is no uh, bad that I can see other than the, the water and the and the, um, and and the toilet morning, part. Uh, Jesse, start. another guy I've Some, met, he's, he's from uh, Alberta, uh, from Medis or from yeah. uh, Lethbridge. One, Drives a oh, Ford high yeah, yeah, van. 3.5, I think it was at like one, yeah, it must be at like two point something, so it's charging. A uh. little bit about his van, his uh, TV and what have you, it's the interior is a lot like mine also. It's got an overhead uh, piece that uh, used to be a bed. I don't sleep in it, he doesn't. And here we go, folks. The ugly part of van life. Please make sure you have a fire extinguisher with you. This is horrendous. There was three hookers living in this thing. And uh, I suppose, I don't know how the fire started, but if you don't have a fire extinguisher, there is no possible way that you're gonna be able to put this out. Everything in here is just flammable, everything. It's, it's an igniter. Uh, they were just staying down the street from Walmart here on, on the main drag, 11th Street. Propane tanks were sitting outside at the time, which is probably a, ben a bonus because if they were inside, who knows what would have happened. Uh, so this is the ugly part. If you don't have what it takes to contain the fires and stuff, it just going to keep burning holes right in the walls and somebody uh, actually hung up some high heels <laughs> the women's high heels were hanging on there but I feel bad for them I hope they had got out safe I wasn't around at the time when it was uh, burning but uh, anyway there it is